Hello friends, in this video, we will see more problems related to the pipes and cisterns. Okay, so let us consider there are two pipes are there A and B. So they fill the tanks in 15 minutes and 20 minutes respectively. Okay, 15 minutes and 20 minutes respectively. Both are filling. Okay, fills. So initially, both pipes are open. Initially, both pipes are open both pipes are open after 4 minutes pipe E is turned off open after 4 minutes pipe E is turned off ok so what is the total time required to fill the tank so what are the total time required to fill the tank. The question is two pipes are there A and B. A takes 15 minutes to fill the tank. B takes 20 minutes to fill the tank. Initially both pipes are open. After 4 minutes pipe A is turned off. Ok. After 4 minutes pipe A is turned off. So the total time required to fill the tank is we have to find. Ok. So both pipes are filling in 15 and 20 minutes. Ok. In both the cases the tank is same and the capacity of the tank is also same. So I take the capacity of the tank as a LCM of 15 comma 20. Okay, 15 comma 20. The LCM is 5 3 ja, 5 4 ja, 4 12 ja, 60. So I take the capacity of the tank as capacity of tank is equivalent to 60 units. 60 units. So if the first pipe is filling in 15 minutes, that means it is filling 4 units per. 4 units per minute. Okay, 4 units per minute. If second pipe is filling in 20 minutes, that means it is filling 3 units per minute. Okay, 3 units per minute. Initially, both pipes are open. Initially, both pipes are open. That means both pipes are filling 7 units per minute. Both pipes are filling 7 units per minute. But uh, after 4 minutes, pipe A is turned off. That means until the 4 units, until the 4 minutes, the both are open. So in 4 minutes, what happened actually? In 4 minutes, they filled 4 into 7. That is 28 units are filled. Okay. 28 units are filled. In 4 minutes, 28 units are filled. So the remaining units is given by 60 minus 28. That is 32 units are remain. 32 units are remain. So but after 4 minutes, A is turned off. That means the 4 unit is not filled by A. So the remaining is only... So the remaining is units 32 is filled by B only. So B is filling 3 units per minute. So that means B takes 32 by 3 minutes to fill 32 units. Okay. So this is going to be so 10 2 by 3. So 10 2 by 3 minutes. Okay. This is going to be 10 2 by 3 minutes. So initially here 4 minutes to fill the 28 minutes and remaining 32 minutes filled by B alone in 10 to by 3 minutes. So the total time is given by 4 plus 10 to by 3 minutes is equal to 14 to by 3 minutes. Okay. 14 to by 3 minutes. Okay. So I will repeat once again. So A pipe is taking 15 minutes to fill the tank and B is taking 20 minutes to fill the tank. Initially both are open. After 4 minutes pipe A is turned off. So, we have to find how long it will take to fill the tank. So, in both the cases, the pipe is, I mean the tank is constant and the capacity of the tank is constant. So, I am taking the capacity of the tank as the LCM of 15 and 20. So, that is 60 units. So, first pipe is filling in 15 minutes. That means it fills 4 units per minute because as the capacity of the tank is 60 units. So, second pipe is filling in 20 minutes. So, that means it is filling 3 units per minute. So initially both pipes are open. That means if we add 4 plus 3, 7 units per minute. Both pipes are filling 7 units per minute. So four, after 4 minutes pipe A is turned off. That means until 4 units, 4 minutes, the both pipes are open. So in 4 units, actually they fill 28 units. Okay. So the remaining units are given by 16 minus 28, that is 32 units. So this 32 units is filled by B alone. Why? Because a is turned off after 4 minutes. 
so 32 by 3 why 3 because b is filling 3 units per minute so that will give 10 2 by 3 minutes so initially 4 minutes and b alone take uh, remaining part to fill 10 2 by 3 minutes so the total minutes is 14 2 by 3 minutes so i hope you got this one so let's see another problem two pipes a and b can take two pipes a and b can take 15 minutes i mean 15 hours and 20 hours okay, 20 hours respectively to fill the tank okay to fill the tank so these two are filling okay so a takes 15 hours and b takes 20 hours to fill the tank okay while a third pipe c can empty the tank in 20 hours c pipe takes 25 hours to empty the tank c alone takes 25 hours to empty the tank okay so all the three pipes are open in the beginning so all three pipes are open all three are open in the beginning okay in the beginning all three pipes are open in the beginning after 10 hours C is closed. After 10 hours, after 10 hours C is closed. So in how much time will tank will be filled? So in how much time tank is filled? In how much time the tank is filled? So A takes 15 hours to fill the tank, B takes 20 hours to fill the tank. C alone takes 25 hours to empty the tank. So all three are open in the beginning. So after 10 hours, C is closed. So in how much time tank is filled? In how much time the tank is filled? So in all three cases, A, B and C cases, actually the capacity of the tank and tank is the same. And that means constant. So I will take the capacity of the tank as the LCM of 15, 20 and 25. Okay. 15, 20 and 25 okay so that is going to be 15 20 and 25 so 5 3 ja, 5 4 ja, 5 5 ja, okay so 5 4 ja, 20 23 60 65 ja, 300 300 so i take this 300 units as the capacity of the tank so the capacity of the tank is 300 units okay so a is taking 15 hours a is taking 15 hours to fill 300 units that means A is filling how many so 20 units 20 units per hour so B takes 20 hours to fill the tank that means B is filling 20 I mean 15 units 15 units per hour B is filling 15 units per hour in so C takes 25 hours to empty 300 units so that means it is C is emptying 12 units per hour so this one is filling that means plus and this one is also filling plus and this one is empty if all three are opened all three are opened then 20 plus 15 35 minus 12 35 minus 12 so 35 minus 12 is 23 23 units per hour if all three are open they are they will fill 23 units per hour okay 23 units per hour so after 10 hours c is closed after 10 hours c is closed that means until 10 hours so a b c are working together i mean open so that means a b c are open they are filling 23 units per hour so if 10 hours they are open then they are going to be filled 230 units 230 units that means in 10 hours all three together fill 230 units but actually the total capacity of the tank is 300 units so the, the remaining units are 70 units okay 70 units but after 10 hours the c is closed that means a and b are working together so a fills 20 units per hour b fills 15 units per hour that means a and b together fills together fills 35 units okay a and b are fill 35 units together so the remaining units are 70 a and b will fill 30 units per hour so 
so that means they are going to be take two hours to fill the remaining 70 units the 70 units that means initially they took 10 hours to fill 230 units and two hours to fill the 70 units that means the total time required to fill the tank is 10 plus 2 that is 12 hours 10 plus 2 12 hours so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel so if you have any doubt leave me a comment